And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. On her second attempt to get rid of Andrew, Jessica finally succeeded, but it was a close call for Ralph. I'm happy that you're here, Ralph. Genuinely and truly. I'm happy that I'm here too, just to be honest with you. Ralph and I have always had a good relationship. We've been getting along really, really well. Yeah, at the same time, I know that he's my competition. Just because you put Andrew up there doesn't mean that's who the decision was going to be. I didn't make the stock. I didn't burn the rush. It wasn't anything that he touched that didn't turn the shit today. Well, and that's all I'm going to say is it wasn't about the Albert. I mean, if we lost three services and the guy's been up there three times, do the math, man. This is easy, this is easy arithmetic. One, two, three strikes, you're out. Anyway, Ralph. You truly do deserve to be here. You're fucking amazing cook, and you teach me something every day. Right back at you, sweetheart. You know, unfortunately, you know, working hard and trying to help people is coming back to backfire on me the last two days. If Ralph would have been chosen to go home, I would have been, you know, really happy. That's he's he's my number one concern that I think about every day when it comes to winning this game. And so, what have I learned? Well, let somebody die. But if you do do try hard to work to help somebody out. Uh, you can't get smacked for it. I just want these days to go by already, man. I'm just so tired of this. You know, I should just be home with my son, man. Just going to work and, you know, hanging out with my sisters. And I don't even want to look at a pan or pot. Nothing. With the realization that they've made it into the final five, the chefs are about to learn. The competition is changing. Look at you. Five of you left. It's becoming very clear that soon one of you is gonna win your very own restaurant. But now, your lives in Health Kitchen is about to change in a very dramatic, significant way. Because now, for the first time ever, you're competing head to head. Ralph. Yes, Chef. Step forward, please. Congratulations. Thank you. Jacket. We were no longer going to be blue nor red team, but we'd be all one team wearing black. Here's your jacket. Well done. Our success will depend on every individual Thank doing the right thing. Jimmy. Yes, Chef. Step forward, big boy. I've got here one amazing clean jacket. I'm only gonna give it to you if you promise to keep those fucking plates clean. No more dirty bowl, Jimmy. Oh no, 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 dirty bowl. No more. Congratulations. Thank you, Chef. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm proud of you all. Congratulations. You are Hell's Kitchen's five finalists. Change. Hell's Kitchen has been the most grueling experience of their lives, but for this brief moment, it's time to celebrate. Yay, this is exciting. Congrats, everyone. Wow, we're the five finalists, the fabulous five. I've earned uh, my black stripes. I'm a black belt now, see? I'm uh, feeling pretty proud of myself. I symbolize it as a medal of survival. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get no love. Now it's down to one final color, one final series of challenges, and then there's gonna be one final winner. <laughs> We're the fabulous five. Quick, hey guys. This is your first individual challenge. Exciting challenge. Table side. Chef Ramsay believes serving table side adds excitement to the dining room and takes pressure off the kitchen. So here is my exotic fruit flambe. For this first individual competition, the aspiring chefs must recreate Chef Ramsay's flambe dessert. Now, first thing, nice hot pan, we're gonna make a caramel. Using simple ingredients of sugar, butter, fruit, and liqueur, a flambe adds a bit of flair to the dining room. Most important, burn off the alcohol. Okay, flambe, mambe. I don't know what he was talking about, but I watched him intently. And there we have an exotic fruit flambe. Peaches, mango, and banana. Straightforward. 
Yes, yes, yes chef. chef. Now, the winner's gonna enjoy a very exciting trip with me out of Hell's Kitchen, and the losers, front of the house needs a really good clean, so you're gonna clean it this afternoon. Is that clear? Yes, yes chef. chef. Ready, steady, go. Each contestant must load ingredients onto their cart. Jessica, Elsie, your cart. Return to their station and prepare their dessert. The chef will judge them on flavor, taste, and presentation. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. It was definitely helter-skelter, like a bunch of people going after everything at once. Okay, guys, one minute's gone. I've never, ever flambéed before. I'm just trying to remember all the steps that Chef Ramsay demonstrated. Elsie, you done this before? No. My sugar burnt right away. Ooh. And I had this black pan. I was just like, that sucked. Just one minute to go. Serve when you're ready. Come on, Jimmy. I've had problems with dirty plates with Chef Ramsay, and I'm going to show Gordon that I'm really not just a dirty bowl, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy. Ooh. 30 seconds to go. I started rushing, going too fast. I dropped my mango and it splattered. Five seconds to go. Stop. Put your flambe in front of you, please, on the side. Okay. Michael, how did you find that? I dropped my mango and made a big mess. Caramel's nice. Not too much alcohol in there. Unfortunately, presentation-wise, yeah. it looks like Jimmy's plate. Dirty. Chef Ramsay made some comment comparing me to Jimmy because his plates were always so dirty. I was embarrassed. Ralph. Yes, Chef. Caramel's got a nice color. Thank you. Very good. Thank you, Chef. Unfortunately, forgot to dust the fruit in the ice and sugar. Jessica. Yes, Chef. Have you done this before? Um, once or twice in my life. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, I've got raw sugar on the banana, so didn't take the caramel far enough. Elsie, nice light colour on the caramel. Nice. Caramel tasting really nice. Clean plate. Jimmy. Yes, Chef. Have you made one of these before? Never, Chef. Never. First time flambe. Yes, Chef. Mango warm in the centre. Mm. Nice. Very nice, Jimmy. Thank you, Chef. It's a choice between Jimmy and Elsie's. Well done. The winner is Jimmy. Wow. Well done. Well done. Thank you, Chef. I won the exotic fruit flambe. It feels pretty damn good. I'm really happy because, you know, I showed up Chef Ramsay that on a one-on-one -on -one challenge that I, I actually could do it. Jimmy. Yeah, Chef? Because you're the winner, you get to pick one of them to come with you. Right now. Right now. Um, gonna have to go with Michael. Me? Ah. Fantastic. The reason I picked Michael to go with me is because he nominated Chris and uh, Elsie. Jimmy had such a wonderful night and he's, he's working so hard and I just couldn't put him in that position tonight. It really, 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 really pissed me off. I was second in line and he picks, I gotta pick Michael. Jimmy and Michael, go and get changed. The rest of you, as you know, the dining room is not as clean as it should be. I really want it scrubbed down. Immaculate, just like your kitchens. Yes, yes, chef. yes, chef. Let's go. Well, I lost again. <laughs> when am I going to ever win anything? You know, obviously, I'm, I'm not going to win, and I'm not ever going to get that face time with the chef that I would love. So it sucks. I'm a little bitter. Make Polish. sure everything is polished and looks good. Beautiful. One chair down, 75 to go. While Jessica, Ralph, and Elsie are left behind for a hellish task, Jimmy and Michael head off with Chef Ramsay for a heavenly reward. A helicopter tour of Los Angeles. This is where we can live 
Jimmy, we can have houses right next door to each other. <laughs> wow, it was unreal. I've never been up in a helicopter before, and uh, to see it over such a beautiful city was intense. All right, you like that, Jimmy? Uh, that's insane. <laughs> why did Michael get to go? Because Jimmy's an ass kisser, that's why. Yes, I'm my own little Cinderella. When we looked down, there's uh, Jean Philippe's down there with two waiters with their champagne and caviar, and I, I felt like I was in a movie or something. Elsie, that's fucked up. Jimmy didn't take you, man. I'll be the first one to admit I'm pretty pissed at that whole decision. And he gets in trouble in service all the time. You in there helping him? He's a punk. Oh, Michael. Thank you. Cheers, Jimmy. Cheers. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Cheers. This man just said thank you to me after he's called me a fat fuck. God knows how many times. It made me feel so good inside. You're the man, Jimmy. You're the man. And it was a clean plate. So it was a clean plate. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start getting overexcited. Well, it's only one plate. Yeah, well. Jimmy had the biggest smile on his face, and this was Jimmy's prize. I, and he deserved it. Yes. I'm nothing but a pleasure, I'll tell you that much. You too, man. Cause see, the way I figure it, Jimmy felt the need to invite Michael because he felt he owed him one. Right. What he doesn't know is that Michael got rid of Chris because Chris was his biggest threat. He didn't put Jimmy on the line because Jimmy would have Jimmy would have been gone. Right. It's all strategy, people. Jimmy, where'd you go? Helicopter ride. You wouldn't have been a helicopter. That's awesome. Yeah, I've always wanted that. Demo. Then we headed cool. downtown and landed on one you of the buildings the down there. Stop it! When we landed, they were standing there holding like the caviar yeah. and champagne. Ah! <laughs> And we got out and we ate, cha uh, he had champagne. He drank a whole bottle like in five minutes. I thought it would have been a wasted trip on those two. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of envy, but not like Elsie. Do not touch me, Jimmy. You're gonna be a bitch about me not choosing you. I don't really care. I mean, this is competition. This morning was a little bit somber, you know? Nobody was really speaking to each other. It definitely is a little tense. There is going to only going to be one winner. I mean, we all knew that, but now that it comes down to the last five, it's, you know, crazy. Chef. Good morning, Chef. Hey, guys. Chef Ramsey has asked the sous chefs to oversee preparations for tonight's dinner service. He was impressed with the team's own dishes from the previous dinner service. So impressed, he's serving them again. All right, pretty much what we did was combined both teams' menus from the other night, and we fancied it up. I'd be lying if I said that I didn't feel a little lost. But then, when all is said and done, all I gotta do is, you know, pull aside Chef Marianne and just say, okay, just tell me what I need to do. Um, make sure to pull um, a tub of the fish stock out of the freezer. Uh, Michael, when you did the filet, did you uh, pan roast it or did you do it on the grill? Uh, I pan roasted, Chef, and I got about a zillion of them, too. Awesome. Okay, guys, two seconds, please. Line up. Tonight, I've decided to serve the Caesar salad and my exotic fruit flambe in the dining room, table side. And one of you going to be responsible for serving live in front of the customers. Jimmy. Yes, Chef. You won the challenge yesterday. You were the best at table side. So you are going to choose one of your colleagues to go in the dining room. Right now. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, who was that? Jesus? No. <laughs> he didn't make it to the final part. <laughs> Jimmy. Yes, Chef. Right now. Since Elsie was the second best, I'll choose her. So you're choosing Elsie to go in the dining room table side? Yes, Chef. Elsie. Yes. You and I are going to go through a quick Caesar salad together? Yes. This is Jimmy's strategy. It could very well be his way of saying, let me put her out there in the fire, so hopefully she'll fuck up and, and, and go. I wouldn't put it past him. Caesar salad, easy peasy. So, into a bowl. Madam, little pepper. Would you like some anchovies? Yes. 
Table side service is it's a very classy thing to do at the table, and it brings that interaction with the waiter or chef closer to the table. Together, nice, onto the plate, very straightforward, Caesar salad. While Elsie gets the finer points from Chef Ramsay, the other four aspiring chefs are getting ready to try and serve an entire dining room. Don't let that lobster get the best of you, Jimmy. So you want to try to sear all your sides on this duck? You're too hot. It's only one kitchen serving the entire dining room. It's double the workload, so it's going to be a huge challenge tonight. <sighs> OK, guys, two seconds, please. Just line up quickly, two seconds. Minutes away from opening, yes? Yes, yes. yes. Scott and Marianne. I want to see what these guys are like on their own. Out of here. Take the night off. This will be the first time that the aspiring chefs will not have the support of the sous chefs during service. No sous chefs in the kitchen uh, affects everybody. You know, everybody's got to stand on their own and deliver tonight. Nobody's going to have any help. Set up our sections. Keep the place nice and clean. Elsie in the dining room. Let's go. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Hell's Kitchen opens for its seventh time, with more at stake than ever before. Well, the good thing is that you came early tonight. It's always a good thing to arrive early in Hell's Kitchen, uh, because you have a better chance of being served at the end. Uh, Elsie, who's going to do table side, the Caesar salad for a starter, and the flambe for the dessert. Gonna be well Are we ready? Yes, yes. 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 Let's go, yes. We've got the best of the best. We're down to a dynamic team, and hopefully, in a perfect world, it'd be nice to complete a full night service. Can you help me? I'm gonna be a little underwater over there. I know. Keep, keep an eye on that for me, will you? Individually, everybody has to perform. If I can help anybody else, great. But if I can't, I just can't. Without the sous chefs to rely on. Cheers. The kitchen is off to a good start, with Michael and Ralph getting the first starters out in record time. Right behind you, chef. Service pick up table nine, please. On your right, chef. Okay, let's go. This is really, oh my God, it's good. While the customers are enjoying the kitchen's appetizers, Elsie is busy preparing her first Caesar salad. And you know what I forgot? My bowl. That's just lovely. I'll be right back. Sorry. Oh. Yes. Elsie, you should be in the dining room right now. Quick, quick as you can. Oh, what a crazy evening. Right now, four minutes on the hot plate, four fillet steaks away. Three yes, medium, chef. one medium well. Three medium, one medium well, yes, That's chef. right, four minutes on the hot plate. Okay, chef. Getting everything on meat tonight, yeah? Yeah, why aren't we selling any, uh, any fish? Why, because... Uh, yeah, so I'm telling you, to sell some fucking fish. With so many orders for filet mignon, Jessica, working on the meat station, will have her biggest test to date. Um, what do I have to finish Jessica, my... Jessica, let's go. Yes, okay, I'm on it, salad. Chef. What do I have to finish my... Okay, one pair of salad, one... There's not a lot of smoke in there, Scott. <laughs> it looks like something's on fire. <laughs> Forty-five minutes into service, food is reaching the pass faster than ever before. Ralph, you're going to start dressing as well, yes? Chef? I can't dress everything, do you understand? Yes, Chef, I'm going to yes. shed the plate. Being asked to join Chef Ramsay at the pass is a huge compliment for Ralph. Now we're cooking properly, yes? Okay. Right, Jessica, I'm concerned about all these ducks going on. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh -oh. Okay, the light's gone out. Yeah, tough shit, yes. Candles on the table, nice and romantic. And all those women out there won't see their double chins. I can't see. What's going on with the lights? Hey, will you find out where my bulls are? We're hauling ass, and all of a sudden, you know, the lights go out. We can work through the dark. Yeah, yes, yes yeah. Just eat plenty of carrots, let's go. And I, you know, I, I didn't really even notice. It didn't even phase me. It really didn't look like it didn't phase anybody in the kitchen at all. Here we go. Away now, yes? Three lobster, two filet, one duck. Let's go. Just under four minutes on the hot plate. Jimmy is trying to balance halibut and lobster on the fish station. How long for that lobster now? Two minutes, chef. You get to throw the lobster tail? Yeah, it's right there. After that, I need three filet, yes? Four minutes, five minutes, chef. No, not even. Those guys? Here. Where's the lobster? I don't know. Is the lobster on? 
It was on, yeah. I don't know. It was sitting here. In his attempt to keep his area clean, Jimmy mistakenly threw out his lobster. I'll make another one real quick. It was sitting there, chef. During the heat of the moment, things definitely do get misplaced. You know, I've lost the lobster. Stop the table. We've got no lobster. I'll get another one real quick. Where is the lobster gone? I had cooked it, chef. I don't know where it went. Oh. Meanwhile, in the dining room, Elsie is making the rounds with her table side cart. Here you are. Enjoy. And Jean Philippe is making sure her customers are happy. How's everything? But I've never had a Caesar salad where they had the stems. Like usually they have the leaves torn off. And yeah. I don't really like it. Okay. It gets the stalks. No, it's fine. I'm not fine. Yeah. What did your mom cut the what? Like crust off your bread? Okay, Elsie. You know what you got there? What? You have there a pain in the neck. A gentleman who wants his lettuce to be cut. You cut his salad like a little baby. He just wants to be an interesting jerk, and he's not. And you cut his salad like a big boy, and then you put it back on, the, on, on his plate. Hi. Would you you'd like your lettuce cut up? I can do that for you if you like. Not a problem. I'll be right back with it. Mr. Lettuce Cutting, I started to cut it, you know, and I felt like I remember cutting my son's meat for him, you know, and I, I, it took every bit of me not to say something really sarcastic, but, you know, service with a smile. It's no different than requesting your steak medium rare versus well done. It's how you like it, it's how you like it. So it doesn't right? hurt your feelings, Elsie. Not at all. Not at all. An hour and a half into service, the kitchen is in high gear. And for Jessica, fillets are proving a little too popular. Three fillets, two medium, one medium well. Where's the rest of my fillets? Hey, I'm, I have no more fillets. Do you have any more fillets over there, Ralph? Jeff Scott put a bunch out for me and now I can't find them. Um, hey, this is kind of big. Michael, I don't have any more filet mignons left and I, and I have a bunch of orders. Scott said he put some in there and, I, and they're not there anymore. Will you take a look? I don't see filet in here. Let's go. Two filet, one medium, one rare. Three lobster with one duck, crease on normal, yes? Okay. Three lobster, how long? I'm having a problem. Chef Scott and I put the extra filet packets in that refrigerator. Yeah. I don't see them anymore. No, don't say that to me now. Surely, Jess, why you want to give it a big attitude? I've got to go back out there and fucking tell him. Unfold your fucking arms right now. And don't dare start getting fucking chippy or lippy or fucking bitchy with me. Yeah. We've got a massive problem now, and we've got no fucking fillet steak. Okay. I've got 27 in order. How many have you got? I, listen, I'm trying to tell you, Scott and I put them back there. How many have you got? Two. Two? I hope you're fucking joking. Tell you Can what, I just my send this food here? Get back on your section and talk it. to me. Hey, I'm hello. Trying to talk What's to this? You. I'm trying Get to back talk on your section. You. I'm here. Okay, then, hello, Missy. What do you suggest for the other 27 is on order? What I'm trying to suggest, Chef, is yes. that they must be somewhere here and I'm going to go try and find them. Okay, well, disappear and fucking look for them then. While Jessica wonders where her stakes are, Michael seems to know where to look. But you know what? Hello? Yeah. It's the way you just don't care about it. The no, way everyone just... I do care you about do. it. You do. You're not even sweating and walking around. I am around. too. I'm really You're upset like about it. Are you fuck upset about oh, it? Oh, come on. Chef, I got steaks. Yeah, well, get her. Yeah, where is she? Just tell her come back on the line. I got it. Unbelievable. What a fucking pile of idiots. Go. Thank you. I don't think anyone sabotaged me. I, I would hope not. But um, Michael definitely wants to win. The thought crossed my mind. Hello, it's clear you've given up. I have not given up. Well, not work at it! I am working at work, it. Do something. I am. Do it into the hot I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Can someone come and help me? Because I'm fucking up to my ears and shit. I'm getting screamed at. Why don't you come over here to desserts? Let me fire you steaks. Let me help you here. Great, now my duck is overdone. Michael mysteriously solved the case of the missing meat. Meanwhile, Elsie prepares to move on to flambés. So two flambés on table 10, yeah? Oh, I don't know how to okay. do yeah. Hey, you know what I would love from you? What? Can you go back and get a bunch of pans from the dishwashers? I can't now. I gotta make this flambe right now. Great. Sorry. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Jessica wanted me to get her some pans. 
And I was like, no, I'm not getting new pans. Um, I had flambés waiting for me. Little Grand Marnier, fire it up. It's not working. Sorry about that. Okay. okay. Fire it up. I don't want to continue to put alcohol on that. Coming right up. Okay. Is it flambé and everything? Yes. Here you go. I'm sorry about Ladies that. First. Ladies first. Oh, Ladies first. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Of course. Thank you very much. Enjoy. I don't think she's ever prepared a Caesar salad or this dessert before. I never did alcohol. see the flambé part of this. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh my goodness, thank you. Two and a half hours into service, with Michael at Jessica's meat station and Ralph working alongside Chef Ramsay, the kitchen is working well. Ralph, things looking beautiful, huh? Ralph is a very safe individual to have in the kitchen. Something that makes you feel confident when you're running the place, because you've got someone like him on the left-hand side. Right, one and a half on the hot plate, two halibut, two lobster, yes? Yes, chef. Let's go. Where's your risotto? No answer. Where is it? I, I don't have it on. I'm getting it on oh now. Oh my God almighty. Earlier, Jimmy lost a lobster. Now he's messed up the risotto, and Chef Ramsay has had enough. I'll get I'll get it for you, Chef. I'll have it ready. Fuck me, it's the customer's I'll have big it ready boy. For the customer, two and a half minutes. Do you think I enjoy this right now? I know. This is fucking painful! I'm sorry, Chef. Jimmy, he's gotta relax on the so I'm really relax on there. Why are you putting that sauce on there? Why are you putting the chicken stock on there? It's uh, fish sauce. Why are you putting that over there like that? It's, it's not, it doesn't seem to I be saw right. you over there. Yeah, no, I saw you going there. I did do it. You're hey, right. hey, listen, listen. Don't fucking start shouting your fat mouth at me. Hey, hey, look at me. So I'm asking you why are you putting fucking fish stock on a fucking risotto? Get it off! Because I think it's a bit bizarre that you finished it and you get a ladle of fish stock like that and you put it over the risotto. So I'm asking you and you refuse to tell me. Then you want to open your fat fucking mouth. So why is it on there? I'm sorry, Chef. Stop the table now. He just poured fish stock on the risotto. Now, Ralph, I'm waiting on three lobster, yeah? I want the risotto relaxed. And I turn around, Ralph, hello, and he's pouring fish stock, yeah, neat fish stock on the risotto. Then he started shouting at me, get it on the stove, young man. And what I am, I'm embarrassed about it. So I'm amazed that you've done it. Now you want to get chippy with me. At this point, Jimmy might be regretting that he didn't put himself in the dining room instead of Elsie, who's now serving flambés as fast as she can fire them. Madame, I, I apologize for the wait. Oh my god. It was good, right? Very good. Wow. It's delicious. Is it good? Yeah, it's delicious. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Enjoy. After that, Jess, we got two fillet, one duck, one lobster, yes? Yeah. Is one more lobster, one fillet coming on top of that, yes? One fillet halibut, one lobster, two fillet steak, normal. Is it en route? Yes, chef. Why is the fish in the pan? Why isn't the fish... I'm trying to fucking do both at the same time. What do you want me to do? Come here, you. Come here, you. No. What do you mean, no? I'm trying to do both at the same time. I don't Just want to calm down. You. Just calm fucking down. I'm trying to do both at the same time. Are you about to crack? Is that what it is? No, no, no okay. Don't fucking crack. shatter me. Yes. Yeah, what no. are you going to do? No, I'm going to stay and finish. Calm down. Yes. While I'm standing here pissed off, what about those fucking customers there then? Yeah, I'm trying, but I'm trying. Right, to so talk to me properly or fuck off. Yes. Is that clear? Yes, chef. Right. Yes. Is the fish in the pan? No, chef. Get it in the pan. Yes. Oh. oh. Sake. Jessica, what are you doing? Shut it down, yes? Yeah, and I'll tell you why I'm going to shut it down, OK? Because two individuals let me down here tonight. You were one of them, and you were the other one. And you think that is bad? I tell you what, if you're ever going to make it, you're going to have to take a lot more pressure than that. Shut it down. Tell the customers, I'm closing the place down. Chef Ramsay has shut down the kitchen 45 minutes early. He expected a lot more from the five finalists. Oh, that was nice knowing you. Holy fuck. Oh dear. That was hard. But let me just say, 
for the first half of service, you made me very proud. Because boy, oh boy, were we on song. Then we broke down. Then the communication stopped. And we didn't accomplish a fully booked service. And that pisses me off. Ralph. Yes, sir. You've been down for the last couple of weeks and tonight really proved your worth. Ralph, okay. things looking beautiful, eh? Impressive. Thank you, sir. I want you to go back to the dorm and come back with two nominees for elimination. Because one of you are going home. Thank you. Thank you. Seriously, I wouldn't be insulted. Seriously, please. It's so exhausting. It's just like, let's just get this over with. As things progress, things are gonna get more and more hectic. You know, I'm not as quick as they are. I'm not gonna be able to keep up. Uh, I don't wanna slow you guys down. That's it, like you, you're done? Because if it's that you don't want to slow us up, that's a bullshit excuse. I didn't finish any of my prep. You you know, remember you asked, who's with me for the right stuff? I haven't done me. that. You know, that's a legitimate excuse. I just want to say uh, this is uh, very difficult across the board. Absolutely. It's been a fucking fun ride, I'll tell you that much. It's going to be a tough decision for him. Ralph's a really good guy. I had nothing but uh, good talks with him. I'm going to be extremely disappointed if I do leave tonight, and I've really busted my hump. Doesn't look good. Ralph's your boy, though, you know? We'll see. Could have put him up there the other night. Yeah. I could have. We'll see if he does tonight, you know? I'm not nominating you. You ain't gonna put me out there, man. No fucking way. No. We'll see. It'd be nice if Ralph wouldn't nominate me because I didn't put his ass on the line, you know, and I've had several chances to do that. I didn't do it because we kind of always had an understanding. This sucks. Jessica's great. We've been partners, we've been teammates, you know, we sleep in the same room together. Right now, with the game is individual, I'm gonna have to change my game accordingly. Oh, good luck to everybody. Ralph. Yes, Chef. Have you decided on your two nominees? Yes, I have, Chef. First nominee and why? My first nominee is Jimmy. Tonight through service, at the point where uh, the pressure was on and uh, he had to be putting the dishes and the food to the hot plate, and the momentary distraction of him barking back at you caused us to lose valuable time during service. And then whenever you lose time in service, you can't recreate it. Fair point. Second nominee and why? My second nominee, It's Jessica. Jessica. Tonight during service, there was a point where it became a hindrance to the team as far as being able to execute tables and plates. Jimmy and Jessica, step forward, please. One of you is going to be leaving House Kitchen shortly. Jimmy, tell me why you think you should stay. I believe over the past couple of weeks, I've been a team player. Uh, I've busted my pump. But uh, tonight when I had my scuffle with you, that was just uncalled for. And uh, I apologize for that. And less than 24 hours ago, you were flying high. Yes, Chef, I was. Thank you for your honesty. Thank you, Chef. Jessica. Yes, Chef. Just tell me why you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. Well, Chef, you know, I think I've been an amazing team player since we've been here. You know, in terms of tonight, 
it was definitely a rough night and you know I was extremely disappointed with myself but you know I'm gonna try hard putting my best foot forward in learning how to do this. So I have to eliminate someone from Hell's Kitchen now. Why isn't the I'm trying to fucking do both at the same time. What do you Come want me to you. do? Come here. No. Can I just send this food here? Get back on your section and talk to me. Hey, I'm hello. What's this? I'm trying Get to back on your to section. You. My decision is Jessica, you fought back. Jimmy, you didn't. You're out. Give me your jacket and leave Hell's Kitchen, please. Yes, sir. And remember one thing. Be extremely proud of how far you got. Yes, sir. You've done bloody well. Thank you for everything. Appreciate that. And I mean that. Thank you, chef. Keep your head up high. Will do. It deserves to stay up high. Yes, chef. Good job. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. Jimmy. I've had no regrets about coming to Hell's Kitchen. If anything, this broadened my horizons. It looks like a dehydrated camel's turd. <laughs> yes, sir. That looks like a dog's dinner. Yeah. Get it in the bin. Oh, no! No, no! Dirty ball! Don't touch your hair! Okay, Don't touch your face! Jimmy, you look delicious as a blonde. Jimmy, start dancing like a ballerina. Move. You're the man, Jimmy. You're the man. And it was a clean plate. So it was a clean plate. <laughs> I'm definitely not giving up on my gym of restaurant touring. The chef Ramsey said to keep on moving forward, and it really meant a lot to me coming from him because this is what I really want to do in my life. Tough. Very tough. Go and get some sleep. Good night. I made it through, and I'm absolutely ecstatic about it. I'm definitely going to bounce back from this nomination. It's unfortunate to see Jimmy go, but the truth is, in order for me to win, Elsie, Jesse, Michael have to be eliminated, too. Everyone's going to try to do their very best to make themselves come up on top. And if there's a little backstabbing involved, it's going to get ugly. We're all living on sort of like this fake happiness with everybody, where at any moment it seems like somebody could snap. Each and every one of these contestants now have to start emerging as individual talent. This is when we really start to find out who can handle the heat and who can't. Clearly tonight, Jimmy couldn't. <laughs>